of love for Krishna is situated within the heart. Um, it, is, it is not to be gained from some other source. And that by as associating with good devotees and engaging in the process of hearing and chanting about Krishna, that dormant love becomes awakened. So the association of devotees is most essential. Uh, Srila Prabhupada said Krishna consciousness is 90% association. So uh, we should associate with the devotees and, um, and serve them. Of course, they're different graves of devotees. Srila Rupa Goswami enumerates 64 items of devotional service in the Bhakti Samrita Sindhu and he says that out of the 64 items, five are most potent. And by even a slight association with any one of the five, one can awaken dormant love for Krishna. And the five are Sadhu Sangha, Nama Kirtana, Bhagavad Shravana, Mathuravasa, and Murti Sharangita Sevana. So Sadhu Sangha, in a general sense, refers to the association of devotees. But Rupa Goswami gives a very specific definition of Sadhu Sangha. Svajati Ashaye Snigde Sadhu Sangha Sato Vare. So Svajatiya means, uh, you could say, belonging to the same community. Uh, and in our case, that would mean uh, followers of Srila Prabhupada. Svajati Ashaye Snigde, and Snigde means uh, affection. Uh, so the sadhu should be affectionate to us. Sajati ashe sridde sadhu sangha satovare. And satovare means he should be more advanced than we are. That is sadhu sangha. So sadhu sangha namakirtana, you know, chanting the holy names of the Lord. Bhagavad Shravana, hearing Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Mathuravasa residing in Mathura, Vrindavan, and Mayapur, or uh, it, it could be referred to a temple where the, uh, the deity of Vishnu is installed and worshipped. Um, and Murti Sharangi to Satan is serving the deity with faith and veneration. So these are the five most potent items of devotional service. And by even a slight association with any one of them, as long as one is offenseless, uh, one can uh, um, awaken dormant love to Krishna. Once I was with uh, his Holiness work of Swami Maharaj in Mauritius. And uh, we had a program at the Iskhan Vedic Farm. And somehow after the program, I was quoting these five most potent items of devotional service. And when I mentioned Mathura Vasa, he looked me in the eye and he said, Kamsa also resided in the <laughs> <laughs> So, but yes, it's, it's very favorable if you're in, in the right mood. So, yeah, it's, we're grateful to Srila Prabhupada for giving us this process, giving us these uh, scriptures, translations of these scriptures with his divine purports. And yeah, we just have to um, 
take his instructions to heart and uh, follow them, and we will get the result. Hare Krishna. So, my dear devotees, thank you for listening so patiently and attentively. Now, if any of you have any questions or comments, you can raise your hand. Yes. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you for your lecture. Uh, I want to ask uh, about uh, what uh, deeply means uh, the dust of uh, pure devotees to serve to dust. That's a very good question because we're talking about that. Uh, well, generally it would mean the instructions. Uh, to follow the instructions of the true devotee. It could also be taken literally as the dust, uh, as it's stated in Chaitanya Charitamita, Bhakta Pada Duli, that means the dust of the devotee. Bhakta Pada Duli, Bhakta Pada Jal, the water that has washed the feet of a, of a pure devotee. Bhakta Pada Duli, Bhakta Pada Jal, Bhakta Pada Bhakta Bhutishta, that means the remnants of food. Uh, these three are very powerful substances. Um, so it could be taken literally if one gets the opportunity. But otherwise, accepting the dust of the lotus feet of the pure devotee would really mean to uh, accept the instructions of the pure devotee and, and follow them. Questions or comments? Uh, during the Juhu, before the Juhu temple was already built, right? And all that commotion and everything. So, what was the trust or the faith uh, you all devotees had? And what were the instructions given by Srila Prabhupada? Because on the one side, it was all that material, um, I can say, hell in front of you all and struggle. So I would like to know what was the strength to keep everybody going? And what was the uh, Prabhupada's instructions to you all devotees to keep going in that um, very, very critical condition? Well, I would say what kept us going was uh, in our faith of Srila Prabhupada. And in my case, I had faith in his vision for the project, uh, which Srila Prabhupada uh, noted. And also, uh, I got a lot of strength from by chanting good rounds early in the morning. It, uh, it gave me a clarity of thought and a, a resolve in, in purpose and uh, the strength you know, to, to face the uh, enemies obstacles. So yeah, yeah, if, if, if I didn't chant those rounds early in the morning, I could never have faced all the obstacles as I did. Um, I have two questions. The first one is, um, could you please shed some light on if somebody passes away in an accident? Uh, like a car crash or you know an earthquake or what happened? Do they become a ghost? Um, and the second question is, uh, do you have any? Uh, can you shed some light on your book, The Life's Final Exam? Um, I haven't read it yet, so if you can tell us a little. Do bit. I have any what? Shed some light on your book, Life's Final Exam. Just talk a little bit about it. 
about uh, an accidental death in a car crash or an earthquake doesn't mean that one will take birth as the ghost. Um, as I mentioned, the ghosts are mainly people who committed suicide or who were very attached to their castles and leave their bodies thinking of their castles. Um, And as far as the book, Life's Final Exam, well, I mean, there's a saying in Bengali that, you know, all of whatever is sadhana and bhajan one has done is well and good, but it all will be tested at the time of death. So the time of death is Life's Final Exam. And we, we can pass the final exam by thinking of Krishna at the time of death and then graduate from the material world, go to the go to Krishna. And it also uh, gives us instructions how to help others pass Christ's final exam. And the, uh, the tradition of uh, chanting the holy names of the Lord at the final 